This is Jonathan Simpson with Warcraft Science on how to use Decursive. The information in this tutorial was correct as of Warcraft Patch 4.0.6 and may contain errors in later versions. Part of the World of Warcraft gameplay experience is debuffs. Both players and computer controlled units can apply spells and abilities that have a negative effect on the target and can be either poisons, diseases, curses, or magic. Many deal damage to the target, however some can slow movement or attack speed, remove the ability to cast spells, or even increase damage taken while the debuff is active. It is also a common mechanic during boss fights for debuffs to be applied to group members. Many players can remove debuffs as well, particularly healing classes. In boss fights that debuffs are applied, it is nearly always critical for them to be removed quickly before they can create too many problems, or even cause the death of yourself or a group member. Although the built-in interface allows for the cleansing of debuffs, most classes are required to target the affected player in order to cast the cleansing ability. This takes time away from other responsibilities the group member has, and can even cause a death if a healer spends too much time cleansing and does not have time to heal. Decursive assists this process a great deal by creating a row of little boxes that represent party or raid members. The boxes are clear until a debuff is applied, and then they change color. If the color is extremely faded out, it indicates it is not a debuff your class can remove, but if it is normal brightness, you can remove it by clicking the colored cube. For most classes, this is a left click, although if you have more than one cleansing ability, one will be bound to each of your mouse buttons. Simply click the boxes that light up one at a time to remove all the debuffs. If a group member has more than one debuff, the box will stay lit until all debuffs are removed. You can move the interface for decursive by holding the Alt key and left clicking the anchor just above the far left cube. You can open the settings window by going through the game menu, interface, and then add-ons, by typing slash decursive and hitting enter in chat, or by holding the alt key and right clicking the anchor. General options will allow you to pick a sound that will play when a group member is debuffed, or to disable the audio notifications altogether. You can also turn on and off the minimap icon, or save or load your decursive settings from here. Live list will let you enable pop-up bars that indicate debuffs, which you can click as well as the cube interface to cure. Messages will allow you to set if the atom will post debuffs in chat or not. Micro unit frames will allow you to customize the decursive interface and change its size, color, and location. Curing options allows you to put a priority of certain types of debuffs over others if your class can cure more than one, and allows you to select if you want to cure players' pets or not. Affliction filtering will let you pick specific buffs to ignore if they cause little harm and you wish to make the add-on more efficient. Macro options allows you to set which hotkey the add-on uses internally. It's a good idea to set a hotkey for this, even though the add-on does simply use it internally, and you don't need to make it a hotkey that's easy for you to use manually. Decursive is an amazing tool that makes cleansing so much easier that it is required to add-on for most raiding guilds. I've been using it since the original release of the game, and I hope it serves you as well as it served me. Notice the links in the description below as they are related to the video you just watched. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe, click like, and favorite this video as we depend upon your support.